Hi guys and welcome back to What If X Manager Managed Rangers Taking a look at what would happen if a bunch of different managers were appointed to the Rangers hot seat As you can see, uh, the, by the title we're looking at Alex McLeish And as you can see by the screen, we're looking at a Rangers where the manager is Steve Clark. Finished second place in the Premiership, but what happened, I hear you say, to Alex McLeish? Well, let's have a look. McLeish is an unemployed manager, was sacked as manager of Rangers on the 17th of March. So we'll have a little look now at the Premiership, which has them still finished second. So couldn't have done that poorly. Let's have a little look. 73 points, six points only behind Celtic, so not too bad. Even on points with Aberdeen, but ahead on the goal difference, and then miles ahead of Hibs back and forth there. So what happened? Why why did Alan McLeish get sacked for what doesn't seem like a terrible season? Well, we need to go to the fixtures to see if we can get an explanation for that. He only manages one round of qualifiers, then goes out to Bronby, which I suppose could happen, but losing 5-0 in aggregate would certainly have hurt. Opening day, he loses to Motherwell, beats um, St Mirren in the Cup, beats Hart, eh, sorry, Hart, Hibs, beats Hearts, looks like he's back on track, loses to County, only manages to draw against Dundee and Parthic. Away victory in the quarter-final of the Cup against Cali Thistle. Actually beat Celtic. Looks like he's turned it. 1-1 draw at Hamilton, but a win away at Perth. 2-2 uh, only against Aberdeen. He goes to Hamden, loses 3-1 to Celtic. And Cham Sinclair and Dembele. Uh, Herrera getting the goal for Rangers. Then he goes on a hell of a run. If we look at this, a draw, then a win. A draw, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 wins in a row. Then a draw against Motherwell. Then he goes to Parkhead and Jay Fulton with the only goal. Uh, Wes Fodring with an 8.3 there. But they, they go and they win at Parkhead, which is a hell of a result. That gives him two victories over Celtic. Beat them at Ibrox. Ryan Jack with the only goal. Beat them at Parkhead. Jay Fulton the only goal. Then he puts Airdrie out the cup. Then the wheels kind of come off a little bit. He comes back from the break beat Celtic why the hell is the Celtic game in January anyway whatever happens beat Celtic beats uh, Airdrie then he draws only at home to Aberdeen loses at Ross County but he picks that up again beats Hibs and Partick then he's at home to Celtic and he draws 0-0 then he loses to Hamilton goes out the cup um, in the fifth round replay there at Parkhead bounces back by beating the Hearts looks like the ship steadied then he loses to St Johnson then he loses to Celtic then he gets sacked, which I think is pretty harsh actually at that point. He went on a hell of a run, okay, he had some dodgy patch in there, but I think he's allowed a little dodgy patch. I think that's a bit harsh on them. After he gets sacked, they get a draw, then one, two, three, four wins in a row, then another draw away at Parkhead, which is a great result. Then they beat Hibs and they finish with a 3-0 loss up at Pitodri. But I don't think he did that badly actually. Uh, okay, when Steve Clark's come in here, obviously he's done pretty well also. But I think it's a bit harsh on Alec McLeish. I don't think he did that badly. He got some really good results against Celtic. I suppose possibly that raises expectation. Um, and the, res the poor results against your St. Johnson's and your Hamilton's become, uh, become a lot more important. So if we look at the tactics here, I imagine this is obviously Steve Clark's tactic we're looking at right now. But if we look at the average rating, just to see who done well over the season, Bruno Alves with a 7.72 is ludicrously high. So he's been an absolute boss. Candeas with a 7.37 there. He's obviously played really well for them too. Cardoso, 7.25. Declan John, 7.18. Did he play? He did. 29 starts in the league, so he definitely played for them. Ross McCrory, 7.16. I wonder, did he play much? Mm, no, not really. He came off the bench in five games, played in a couple of Scottish Cup games, but no, he didn't really play for them. Um, Alnick, then you've got Tavernier, who played loads of games, of course. You've got Morelos, who played well, didn't play that often. Um, only got the 8 goals then you've got Wallace who didn't play that often got 12 starts I suppose and did pretty well with those starts then you've got Jay Fulton who he brought in on loan 31 uh, starts in the league 7.02 did pretty well too Eduardo Herrera who has 15 goals he got 24 starts 9 goals in the league so he's looking pretty good as well uh, Thibaut Ver Verlinden again uh, most of them have actually picked him up on loan from Stoke 18 starts 4 goals 3 assists just below a 7 there done pretty well um, after him, we get kind of down to you know, Fodrigham, Jack Holt, Wilson, Cranch, Carr, all those kind of guys who sort of get the same kind of rating. Carlos Pena, though, has played really poorly and didn't get many games. Uh, Carlos Pena seems to be one that most managers seem to have used so far, so that's an interesting situation. 
Uh, but if we look at his transfers, we've pretty much spoiled this for ourselves already. Verlinden and Fulton there. Scott McLean, uh, another one that they've brought in there, the winger from, from Kilmarnock. A few have picked him up. But basically that's how it is. If we actually look at the Premiership, I forgot to do this in some of these simulations just to see how they stack up against the rest of the league. Bruno Alves with nine Man of the Match awards and a 7.79 average rating actually looks like the best player in the league this season. Fodringham's one clean sheet behind Craig Gordon. Bruno Alves also the leading yellow card recipient with 16 and Dorans with 10 actually got the most assists in the league. So overall, I think this is probably the only simulation so far where I felt the game has been really, really harsh to dismiss the manager. A couple, I mean, McInnes got dismissed, but they ended up finishing third, and he was pretty, pretty poor for them. Tommy Wright did fairly similar to what Alex McLeish did here, and he may, managed to keep his job. So I think it's been harsh on McLeish here. But as I always say on these simulations, it's just a little bit of fun. Take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this one, you can drop down below and leave a like. And if you want to follow the series or any series on the channel, you can subscribe, for which I would be eternally grateful. But just thanks for watching these videos, and I'll see you for our next simulation.